Okay, today I'm rebuilding this uh, Velvet Drive 5000 2 to 1, and I'm going to show you how to calculate the shim, uh, the shims in the input shaft here and in the lay shaft here. Uh, this is sort of critical because this is a preload of the bearings, and uh, if you get it too tight, it'll fail. If you get them too loose, it can make noise and fail too. So, um, basically, what you do for the lay shaft is you take a depth micrometer from this gasket to the base of the um, bearing cup. Now, I've already got the shims in there. I've already calculated them. But you, you take that measurement. You do the same thing here. You go from here to the base of the bearing cup. Again, the shims are already in. But you go from the bearing cup. All right? And then you record that measurement. All right? So on the input shaft, I was 325 thousandths uh, deep. And on the lay shaft, I was 85 thousandths deep. Well, the lay shaft is easy because all you do is add four thousandths preload to it and I need a shim of 89 thousandths or a stack up of that. The input is a little bit different because the pump protrudes into the void there. So this is the pump assembly. We have to measure from that lip to the face, okay? So that lip to the face is 210 thousandths. So a quick math problem, 325 minus 210 gives me 115. So effectively, that's the distance between the bearing cup and the face of the pump where the shims ride. In fact, you can see where they were riding, that little outline there. So basically, add four thousandths to it, I need 119 thousandths on the input shaft. On this job, the input shaft was right on the money. It was actually right at 120, uh, which, you know, service manual says plus or minus one thousandths. So uh, that was dead nuts. And this side here was short about 15 thousandths, so I corrected that. So that's just a quick run through on how to adjust the shimming on a Velvet Drive 5000.